August 23rd, the National Solar Observatory announces a new era in solar physics is upon us with the hashtag DKIST. September 4th, the FBI raid and shut down the SSO in New Mexico, the operator of DKIST. Then the chaos begins. Nearby residents and facilities, including the local post office, were evacuated. The FBI called on local police to help with the evacuation. Benny, the county sheriff, said there was a Black Hawk helicopter, a bunch of people around antennas, and work crews on towers. But nobody would tell us anything. We went up there, and everything was good. There was no threat. Nobody would identify any specific threat. We hung out for a little while, then we left. No reason for us to be there. Nobody would tell us what we were supposed to be watching out for. Conspiracy begins circling the closure of the facility, and eerie images begin to appear, allegedly leaked from within the institution. They show what looks to be a fleet of craft circling our sun. A reverse image search of the net finds that these pictures have never been posted online. September 15th, ex-FBI investigator John D'Souza professes in a Twitter post the FBI will release a cover story September 20th. Information on the FBI warrant is obtained and the cover story is issued. They announced that a janitor at the facility was suspected of downloading and sharing child pornography, yet at the time of publishing this report, no individuals have been charged or arrested for such an offence. This would be the first time in history the FBI raided an institution for one man on a crime that no one would want to question. None of this adds up. To recap, they evacuated businesses and residents. They fly a Black Ops helicopter overhead. They keep it secret from the county sheriff. And they shut the SSO down for two weeks. So, what is this place? If it's aliens around our sun, surely other facilities would have captured this. Well, maybe not. It turns out the DKIST is a state-of-the-art telescope, the world's largest telescope for observing solar activity that achieved first light this year. The DKIST is capable of observing the sun in visible to near-infrared wavelengths and will correct for atmospheric conditions. In the solar image known as astronomical seeing to enable high resolution. So now we've answered the question why the solar observatory would be the only one to observe the craft around our sun. We reached out to an FBI agent of over 20 years and asked him about the leaked photos and the investigation. John D'Souza replied regarding the investigation and said, and I quote, there has never been a case of CP handled this way, and that's why the FBI has made no statement on this case. None. Pro wrestler and UFO hunter Donnie Brook, who provided Shed Show Talk with the leaked photos of the Armada around our sun, states, The Sunspot Solar Observatory just happened to have caught something that Big Brother does not want us to see. If that was not enough to convince you, then maybe this. Since the Amada was spotted around our sun, we are now facing an equatorial hole that has opened up in the sun's atmosphere, causing fears across the globe of mass failure of technology. Do you think this is just a coincidence? Taking a look at another theory that surrounds this mysterious event, some believe that the Chinese Secret Service, otherwise known as the MSS, infiltrated the SSO, and that is why when the FBI raided the SSO, the personnel were seen around the antenna. Although there is no evidence to support this theory, none whatsoever. Everything points back to extraterrestrial life. Just to recap, DKIST becomes active. Less than a week later, the FBI raid the facility. They shut down local business. They evacuate local residents. The pictures of a UFO fleet around our sun are leaked. Ex-FBI investigator John D'Souza predicts the FBI will make a bogus cover story. The FBI claim that a janitor was using the Wi-Fi for child pornography. And then finally, the sun develops an equatorial hole. Looking at the facts here, 
you can only conclude that all the evidence points directly at an extraterrestrial event of some magnitude. So what do you think? When events like this happen, it's important to share the information available with the world. Share this video and get the word out to everyone you know. Alien contact will be the biggest event in history. We have a duty to uncover the deception within our governments and military. Without your efforts to share and distribute the material within videos such as this one, disclosure will never happen.